Hello everyone and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Today I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of Sagrada. If you'd like to see how to set up the game, check out the video before this in the playlist. Otherwise, let's get going. Let's grab our four dice to start our first round. And we'll give them a roll. With this roll, it's not a great roll. I was hoping that this blue, which would give us points, would be higher, but it's only a two. So I think I'm going to grab this six. And I have to start anywhere on the outside of this board. And I'm going to start right here. Now, everything that I play has to be in this area. It has to be adjacent to this uh, die, either orthogonally or diagonally. So I'm going to grab this 5 and place that, oh man, right here. But I'm going to have to move that 5 eventually because I'm going to need a 5 here. But this way, I only put 3 points up onto the track. But if you think about it, I scored 0 with this. So already, the opponent is up 3 nothing. Here's the tracker. We'll put one and two. Let's go to round two. Grabbing four dice from the bag. Sometimes that's hard. The dice are kind of small. Okay, here we go. I'm not too unhappy with this roll, and here's why. I'm going to use this tool, the grinding stone. I'm going to draft this blue die, which is, remember, the, the die that's going to give me points. And I'm going to give up this green two here to use the grinding stone. So now I can't use it, but I can now flip a die to its opposite side. So I'm going to flip this one to a six. That gives us six points. Yes! I'm going to put that six right here. Again, it's uh, diagonal, so that works. And the sixes are okay because they're not orthogonally adjacent. Then I'm just going to draft this yellow three and place it right here. Now, if I get this four, I'm going to get four points because I have different numbers in all four of these places. So that's what I'm looking for. End of round two, we'll place this three here. So now our opponent has three, four, five, six points. And we have six because we have that blue die. Oh, that helped. Grabbing four more, looking for blues. Come on, blues. No, no blues in this pile. What we do have is a ton of fours. So I'm going to grab this green four and place this here. That's going to give us four points right here. And we're still doing okay with our colors this way. Next, I'm going to use this lathe kit. I'm going to give up this four purple die to move exactly two dice obeying all placement restrictions. I'm going to move this five one over. I'm going to place this three over here in the yellow spot. I can draft one more die and I'm going to draft this six. And I'm going to put this six right here. So that way, I've lost some points here, but this way I'm not putting so many points up for the opponent, and I'm hoping I should still be able to get this done. Round three, and our opponent gets four more points. Looking for blues. Can you guys think blue thoughts at me, please? Let's see. Nope. No blues. Bummer. I'm going to place this five right here. I'm going to grab this 5 and place it here. So remember, the numbers only matter to be different, um, the different shades, this way, and the colors matter this way. So the fact that I have two 5s here should still be okay if I can get two different colors here. So now we'll put five more points up to the board for the opponent. 3 plus 2. Man, we just keep adding to them. What did you guys say I'm due to roll some blue here? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh yeah, I rolled a blue, and it's a blue one. Wow. So I think I'm going to grab this one and place it here. And then I'm going to grab this three and place it up here. We're going to give a whopping two points to, the, uh, to our opponent. Two more points. And I'm going to say, I think right now... We have six points in total. That's it, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, he has a little more than six. Let's go to round six. Blue, 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 blue. No blue. Wow, lots of low dice, too. So I think we're going to grab this two, place that here. And we'll grab this purple one and place that right there. But now we're adding up five more points to our opponent. I don't even want to know what he's at for numbers yet. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Blues, please. One, two, three. And guess what? No blues. 
some higher numbers. That's maybe not a bad thing. We'll grab this yellow three. That'll get us some points. Looking at this, we're just going to have to lose some points here. I think we're just going to have to grab this five, which is such a bummer, and plop it here. But now we have two fives here, so we're not going to get the four points of the different uh, numbers here. But maybe I can use one of our items, or our tools next time to help us. Let's put these six points on the opponent's board. Six more points. Let's go to round eight. Let's roll them up. And we get another blue that's at a two. Ugh. First thing we're going to do, we're going to draft this two. Okay, that's blue. But we're going to use this yellow one to increase this by one to a three. We can then place that right here. And then we'll grab this four. And we'll place that right here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. End of round eight, we'll put a two here. And if you guys hear something, I apologize, there's something going on outside, but I'm gonna keep going. Only two more rounds. At this point, I'm looking for a five or blues, really. That's what I'm looking for. How about a blue five? <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do, it's a no-brainer. Grab this green six, put this here. Yes, all different shades, that is awesome. Unfortunately, though, that means we lose these points. I'm going to use this 5 and draft this 4. I can't believe I'm not using this 5, but I don't have a good place to put it. But I'm going to do this so I can grab a die from the round track and swap it with this 4. This actually might not be a good idea because we're giving them two more points, but I am in turn getting, uh, I think it's almost 10 points. Four and six, yeah, 10 points. So I think it's worth it. So swapping it with this two. We're then gonna place this two here. And you can see I've got the four points here plus the six points here, nice. But I have to give up this five and it's blue. I just didn't have another good place to put it. Moving on to the final round. Let's roll our last four, nice. I've used all four of my tools, so it's just what can I draft. I for sure can draft this two here, and that's going to get me six more points. Yes! Unfortunately, the four, four, and one all will not work here because there's a four and there's a blue. So I have to give up all three of these to the opponent. Yes, that is nine points right there. <laughs> and now I have a minus three because I didn't fill my track. All right, let's count them up. Our opponent here has 42 points just by adding up the dice. Let's go look at ours. First, let's look at row color variety. So these are all different colors, right? So that's six points. These are all different points. So that's 12. This is not even done. And one, two, three. So that's 18 points. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. Yeah, six, 12, 18 points. Next, let's look, let's look at column shade variety. Failed, failed, that's four points. Failed, one, two, three, and, oh, okay, that's eight points. So we're at 26 points. Next, we'll look at our personal color, which is blue. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that's gonna give us 37 points. Then we subtract three. We're at 34. I believe uh, our opponent was at 42, so we lost. Ugh, but it was close. It was a close game. And there you have it. That's Sagrada on the second to easiest mode with a nice and easy, <laughs> a nice and easy stained glass window. As you can see, it's not easy. Although you might have been like, Colin, why didn't you do this? So I might have made some silly mistakes, but I tried to think about it. <laughs> uh, fun game, it's quick to play, quick to set up. I highly recommend it, especially if you travel at all. This could totally fit in a small bag. You wouldn't even need to bring this, just bring these little sheets and you'd have so much fun and you could play this over and over again. There's tons of different ones of these. There's the different, the six different colors, or however many different colors, one, two, three, four, five different colors. The five different colors you can have as um, personal objectives. And it's really fun competitively too. It's, 
it's uh, uh, it's not an in-your-face competitive, but it's, you know, hey, you're drafting dice. Oh, she took my blue that I wanted, you know, whatever. It's fun. I really recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good rest of your day. Yeah.